Hello everyone. This is the fourth video in the series of our discussion on waves and radiation. In the last videos, we have discussed about waves, types of wave, and their properties. In this video, we will discuss about the wave equation. However, before we continue, these are the answers to the practice question that I left you with in the last class. You can pause the video and check your answers. Now, let's continue our discussion on wave equation. So, let's get started. The next topic in this unit is wave equation. So we have discussed uh, about the frequency and we have right now we have taken some questions related to that. So we know that uh, frequency is number of waves per second or generally we can write F or frequency equals to number of waves N divided by the time taken to produce them T. Right. And the wavelength, which is your lambda, it is the distance between successive points on a wave, right? So, uh, so it, it is either the distance between two successive crest or between two successive trough, right? So that distance, that horizontal distance is called your wavelength. So to generalize that, we can write it as lambda, it is the distance, right? divided by number of waves, right? Now, what we can do is if we multiply these two quantities together, that is F multiplied by lambda, and what we see is F is N divided by T, and lambda, it is D divided by N, right? So if we multiply, what we can see is the Ns get canceled, and we are left with d divided by t and if you remember the speed of wave it is distance divided by time right so we can replace this term t divided by t with v that is your speed right so wave equation what it does it that it gives you the relation between frequency, wavelength, and the speed of the wave. Right. So it basically relates these three quantities. Right. So let's take uh, this question. Now, microwave have a frequency of 9.4 gigahertz and you have to calculate their wavelength. So frequency is given 9.4 gigahertz. Now the first thing which uh, in any numerical problem that I prefer to do is as I'm writing the uh, values and relating it with the uh, symbols. Uh, what I try to do is I try to convert them into SI units. So one gigahertz is 10 to the power nine hertz, right? So if you convert 9.4 gigahertz into hertz, you have to multiply it by 10 to the power nine, right? So now it has been converted into its SI unit that is hertz and we are required to calculate wavelength lambda. Okay, nothing else is given in the equation, uh, given in the question. Now, if right now we discussed the speed of the wave is related with the frequency and the wavelength, right? But uh, we are only given with 
uh, uh, the yeah the frequency and we have to calculate the wavelength but we are not given with the speed of the wave but we are we are given with the name of the wave you are using a microwave of a certain frequency now any uh, microwave is a electromagnetic wave right so every electromagnetic wave in space uh, basically they have a speed of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meters per second right so that is a standard and that is a constant so it's bet, uh, it's better to remember them right so this is your speed for microwave now we are given with the speed we are given with the frequency we can calculate the wavelength so basically from from this equation if i if i try to re rearrange it uh, what i can do is i can write lambda is equal to speed divided by frequency now the speed of microwave it is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meters per second and the value of frequency it is 9.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 hertz okay so if we do the calculation we can find the answer so you can simultaneously you can also do the calculation So for me, that comes out to be 0 0.032 and lambda is meters, that will be meters. Now, let's talk about uh, two of the waves which we, we have discussing now this fact we have already discussed before to a certain extent that uh, uh, electromagnetic waves they travel faster than the mechanical wave right so one of the very common example is your thunder and lightning so whenever that happens uh, the first thing which we see is the lightning and after a few seconds or let's say a few microseconds we hear the sound of the thunder right so this phenomena or this observation clearly you know demonstrate that the light which is an electromagnetic wave they travel faster than the sound right so basically sound they travel at a speed of 340 meters per second whereas uh, the, the light it travels uh, 3 multiplied multiplied by 10 to the power 8 which is 300 million meters per second in air right and the sound um, travels at a different speed than different speed through different medium a different material right it travels faster through solid because the particles are closer ev discussed on on to this right because uh, the sound can travel faster in solid material as compared to liquid and in liquid it can travel faster in comparison to gases right because of the distance between the particles or the molecules right and to calculate uh, the calculation involving the speed of sound can be carried out using uh, the equation 
this equation we have already discussed that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So it stands true for the sound wave or the uh, light wave as well. Right, so we can use the same equation. And these are some of the speeds of sound and different material. So in water, you can see it is 1500 meters per second. Whereas in uh, uh, aluminum, it is much faster. 5000, which is a solid aluminum, it, it is a solid and it travels much faster. Okay, so similar question. Uh, so let's read through the question first. So during a storm, uh, lightning is seen in the distance. Okay, and the thunder is heard five seconds later. Hmm. How far away was the lightning strike? Ah. That's an interesting question. So would you like to take up this question? <laughs> so basically, you have to use uh, uh, this equation, which is speed is, uh, yeah, speed uh, is equal to distance upon time, or you can say distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Right, so we have to use this equation and the speed of sound, since we are talking about air, it is 340 meters per second. So you have to calculate the distance. Three hundred and forty meters per second, and the time is given to be five seconds. So <clears throat> basically, I will explain the scenario. So let's say um, a person is standing here, right? And let's say at a certain distance D, there was a lightning, okay? And after the lightning happened, so the light travels faster, he was able to see it, but uh, he was able to hear it after five seconds, right? So it took, it took five seconds for the sound wave to travel up to him. So you have to calculate the distance. We know the speed of sound wave, it is 340 meters per second, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. And if you do 340 multiplied by five, you should get the answer. So this is my answer, which I'm getting in meters. So if you if you miss, great, great, perfect. Patrick. Right, so if you miss the unit, um, you lose some marks. <laughs> so never for, forget the units, right? So this is all about the wave equation. If you have any confusion, please comment and I'll be happy to answer your queries. In the next video, we will discuss about the diffraction of wave in detail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.